Hey there, Chris Music here. Ricky. Um, day 25 of Scooby-Doo. And this one is easily Ricky's favorite. Um, throughout it, you could just see the enjoyment on his face. It's just lit up. <laughs> <laughs> this was Kiss, Rock and Roll Mystery. Ricky's not a fan. I hate Kiss so much, and I don't mind Kiss. I like it's because it's not a band; they're a brand, and so it's just like the if Pepsi was a band, you know. <laughs> I and do agree, though. That I hate Gene Simmons. Yeah, I hate his stupid tongue, and every time he stuck his stupid tongue out, I rolled my eyes. A lot of groaning. Groaning. I groaned so much. And I could appreciate what the writers were doing because a lot of times it would include like because you know Kiss is merchandised yeah. like crazy like it's ran by Yorda or whatever it was from yogurt, yogurt from Spaceballs, and so they do all these ads for Kiss stuff. Kiss and toilets. I could appreciate it, but. It just, the subject matter was something I was never going to be interested in. And they in. make them superheroes. Oh, as well. and that was just. Ugh. You know, the whole thing felt, especially the end, it felt very 90s cartoon to me. Yeah. Like, like if, if Kiss was one of those groups that got a 90s cartoon, mm -hmm. that's what it would have, they would have made them superheroes yeah. and went on intergalactic adventures. Mm -hmm. and In fact, it was probably like a idea that yeah, they, they... I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. And maybe the, maybe just the company, uh, guitar riffs and cartoons just make me think 90s. Mm -hmm. But, but it was, but, you know, even without Kiss, it wasn't a very good one. I don't think. Because... You know, whenever they start to stray into not only it might be real, which is fine, they've done that a few times and yeah. it's been good, but it's not only is it real, it's an entire world. Yeah, it can get sucked into a different dimension. It's yeah. Different. And like Goblin King did the same thing. Like it was real, but that then you went like way too right. into yeah. it. Yeah. I was just like, that, that's not what they need to be doing. Yeah. And even this one, it was just like, was it real or was it like a drug trip? But no, it was real. Yeah, it was real. <laughs> so. It was... Why kiss? Why That's kiss? the other thing I, I, do, WWE, I do agree with you on that. Yeah, WWE, I understand because at least it's popular or relevant. But what 10-year-old who is the target audience of these movies is like, I can't wait for them to have an adventure with kiss. I, I thought that buying it because I was like, when... Parents, like when families see this, the kids will probably be like, oh, Scooby Doo movie. And the kids will be, and the adults will be like, Kiss, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kiss and Scooby Doo. And I'm like, who's Kiss? And like, the explanation will always have to be from the adults. I don't yeah. think any kid will go into Kiss knowing who they you are. Go into it and be like, oh, yeah, Kiss. I love Kiss. Or maybe like, oh, that song. You know, you know that song or, that I play on the radio every once in a while that you. Yeah. Dance around too because you don't know what good music is yet. <laughs> if a kid does know it going in, then that's a very specific kind of family. Mm -hmm. That is a kiss family. Yeah. So, kiss so fans. they would probably oh. love it. If anyone watched these videos, we'd have tons of kiss fan <laughs> comments. Yeah, we would. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So. But we were talking. Crossovers, yeah, because Tom, Tom and Jerry had a preview before this one of Johnny uh, Johnny Quest. Crossover. There's 14 Tom and Jerry movies, and they do the weirdest things. Yeah, Jack the and the Beanstalk and all this. Robin movies. Hood, and they just find excuses for them to go on adventures. Yeah. When originally it was just one chasing the other. Yeah, but at least Scooby Doo is solving mysteries and stuff. Mm -hmm. But well, there's more of a story there too. Well, yeah, and. So why not them cross over with Johnny Quest? Yeah, or... that would be that seems like a natural fit. Yeah, that would be awesome. But or, anyway, yeah. but the next Anyone one, but Kiss, Metallica. Yeah, I'm gonna do a rock band. Yeah, do you know what would be actually really cute is a Scooby Doo Tegan and Sarah crossover. That would be cute. That'd be adorable. Mm -hmm. So, um, Paramore. 
No doubt would be. <laughs> no doubt would be good. Um, next one is Lego Scooby Doo mm. Haunted Hollywood. So, venturing into Lego territory in the next movie. So, that should be better than Kiss. Because yeah. you like Legos. Yeah. Well, you like Lego movies. And yeah. Stuff. I do. Um, when does Mindy Cohen stop? I believe that was her last Aww. movie. Oh, <laughs> yeah. poor Mindy she might, Cohen. Yeah. Going out on Kiss. And when she was a, such a bummer all the movie. Mm. Because she hated Kiss, because why wouldn't you? Yeah. And Fred hated him too. And I was all with him. I know, like, Star Child making out with Daphne at the end either. Yeah. Especially since he's, like, right now he's an old man. And yeah, he's, he's supposed a... to be high school, college. Yeah, they were never clear on that. Yeah, so, and I think they made both of those, like, purposefully ambiguous. Mm -hmm. So when they did make out, you weren't like, but I don't know anyone who would not be like this. Yeah. <laughs> but, anyway. So, Legos. Legos. Okay, cool. <laughs> Manos will be done.